The spirit of resistance to government is so valuable on certain occasions that I wish it always to be kept alive. It will often be exercised when wrong, but better so than not at all. I hold that a little rebellion now and then is a good thing, and as necessary in the political world as storms in the physical. God forbid we should ever be 20 years without such a rebellion. The people cannot be all and always well informed. That part which is wrong will be discontented in proportion to the importance of the facts which they misconceive. To remain silent under such misconceptions is a lethargy, the forerunner of death to the public liberty. And what country can preserve its liberties if their rulers are not from time to time warned that the people preserve the spirit of resistance. The remedy is to set them right as to facts, pardon and pacify them. Cherish, therefore, the spirit of the people and keep alive their attention. Be not too harsh on their errors, but reclaim them by enlightening them. If once the people become inattentive to the public measures, you and I and Congress and assemblies and judges and governors shall all become wolves.